As the rough says, let's look at B. B, you'll be going that direction and you'll be going up, correct? And then the C, you'll be going that direction and you'll be going down. And then the A, you'll be going that direction and you'll be going down. So, which means if you do the sum of the forces on your x-axis. Alright, look here. You've got the red and the orange are pointing to the right. You'll add the red and orange minus the green. So, I'm just doing it with color. I'll say red plus the orange and then minus the green one. I'm making it longer. This is like minus here. This is like plus because we don't know the values. And then the other one, the sum of the forces along your Y is going to be... You see, you've got one red facing up. Orange and green are facing down. So it's going to be red minus the two greens. So in your case, it's going to be the red. And then you're going to minus uh, the green one. You're going to minus the green. And then you're going to minus... Uh, the orange one and then you're gonna get your answer there you're gonna get your answer there just like here can you see then you'd now draw the triangle now you do exactly the same thing is it is it making sense to you yeah 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 you're right. You need to be aware of the direction. Let me kind of show you the direction, actually. How, how do you see the direction of this thing? Now, remember, look at vector B. Vector B starts here by the green dot. And vector B, it's going to end by the blue. So the idea is start from the green where you started, you want to end up on the blue, but you must travel on the x-axis and on the y. So if I start from the green, there's two options. I can go x-axis. Can you see I'm pointing to the right? I move to the right. Then to end up at blue, I must go up. So it's pointing up. Somebody would have chosen the other route. Somebody would have said, no, I want to start with the verticals. So which means you'll go up first and then you'll go to the right. So they'll, they'll be exactly the same. So this one and that will be the same. Can you see? They're pointing up, both of them. Can you see? Can you see? Even these ones are pointing... Uh, th these ones will be pointing in the same direction. This one. They'll be in the same direction. So the choice is yours whether you want to work with this triangle at the top or the, the purple one or you want to work with the red. It doesn't matter. But at school, they were working with the red one. It doesn't matter which one. The answer will be exactly the same. That's how you figure out the direction. Like with this one, I must start here and end up there. So I can move this way to the right and then down. Or I can move down first, then to the right. So I've got this triangle. The direction will be exactly the same. Say so you're right. You must be aware. Listen to me. You must be aware of the direction of the arrow. The arrow. Where the arrow is pointing. You good? Yeah. Where the arrow is pointing. Not where the, the force is. Because if we were to put a force here, the green one, your mind will think this is pointing up because 
it's above the x-axis. It doesn't have to be up. It can be down here, pointing up. It's still positive because of the way it's pointing. Not where it is, where it's pointing. Up plus. Right positive. No matter whether the vector is on the, uh, at the top or bottom. It depends where it's pointing. We sharp, ne? Right? 